Welcome back to another episode of Win or Lose Weekly Pick'em. This is episode number six. Uh, week number six already. 14. Ready. Yeah, six already. So we it, it went by so fast. It seemed like we just started doing this thing, but it's 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 it's, it's, it's going well. It's going well this and week. I mean, I had ten it's, it's, ten wins this week. And I don't, you know what? I don't like it because first four weeks I was boom on my flow. These last two weeks, dude, you've been getting me. And but I, but here's what I will say, okay? Mm-hmm. The three upset games that I caught, they didn't go upset, but they was very close games. They wasn't blown out. Yeah, they just have to learn. Good. Like uh, it could wait either way. Like the Broncos should have won. They don't know mm-hmm. how to close out a game. The mm-hmm. Carolina Panthers should have won. They had all the emotion. They probably play play a better game other than not getting at a feeling as far as they should. The number one a fantasy person right. on the team. So it's like these games they they're now learning how to close on it, and that's that's the up that's the wrong part about about having them as the picks, I guess. Knowing that they should win these games, it's about closing mm-hmm. out out the games. They was all one score games, last drive games. So they wasn't domination mm-hmm. games. So other than the, I, I still I, I don't know how the Niners beat Seagulls like completely, but that's a. That's the next conversation, but the, yeah. those was three big games that swung this week's pickups. Yep, I think uh, what it is is those teams like those teams are not they're middle of the road team. So they that's the the problem yeah. with them not winning games all year is they cannot find a way to win just like for the 49ers do, just like the Cowboys do. Find ways to win at the end of the game, no matter what's going end on. End of the game, no matter what's going on, and like. And the game I am most disappointed is the Broncos, though. The yeah. Broncos had every chance to win that game. Like, that was going to be a us because everybody picked the Houston Texans. Yeah. Like, everybody said, but I'm like, but I think the Broncos coming because their defense was starting, starting to click. There was on a five game a win streak. Russell Wilson mm-hmm. playing his best football since he's been a Denver, a Bronco. Against, against, yeah. Against the Texan teams that didn't have the best player in Don Schultz, they a rookie quarterback and a rookie coach, mm-hmm. six and five. They only had a one game differential. Uh, that was one game that I said, I guarantee it's, you, it's, that's gonna go through. You did, you did. And it's it's the red zone. How did yeah. you, you in the red zone? They 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 did four or five plays down there and could not get the ball in the end zone. Penalties, first of all, penalties, and then turnover. Penalties then they got, got sacked. No oh my goodness! Yeah, sacks. So Eternal. it reminded me at the end of the Cowboys yeah, Eagles game. Yeah, Previous. ten chances. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and every chance in the world. But yeah, so this was a good week of pickups of three games that could have swung the whole shit that I would have been up ten and seven. But I'm gonna give it to you, and you got it this this week. So. Good stuff. One of the games that we both lost that I was that surprised. Well, two of the games that surprised us was uh, the Chiefs losing to the Packers, and then uh, the the Jacksonville Jaguars losing to the Bengals. Like those games right yeah. there. Like th- no, nobody expected that, especially with Browning starting for the Cincinnati Bengals. Nobody expected nobody. him to come out and play the way he played, throwing the ball downfield like he's supposed to to Jamar Chase. That was mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. Jamar Chase bought bought out. I seen the NFC a fantasy thing where a fantasy player lost the game by point one because Jamar Chase got the, got a late catch. Game was one eighty eight to one eighty seven in fantasy points because of Brown. I thought that was hilarious. Brownie's played. Wow. He actually played a good game. He did. He did. But he did. I will say. Do you think it? Do you think if Trevor Lawrence would have got injured, uh, the results have been the same? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It, it, it's. I would say yes, but they got they went to overtime after he got hurt, and then they threw in this quarterback who couldn't yeah. throw the ball downfield at all. <laughs> I as, feel bad. Exactly my point. I, like, exactly. What is going on? <laughs> exactly. And you know, Trevor Lawrence so, can throw the ball. 
So yeah, it, it, yeah. they could have won. They could have won. So I said no before because of the way Cincinnati was playing and the way their defense was getting after the quarterback. But if that was Trevor Lawrence, a healthy Trevor Lawrence in the game, I think the right. Jacksonville still had, had a chance to win the game. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's let's talk about the Cowboys in the in this uh, Seahawks game last week. Thursday night game. That was they, the first game of the week. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, y'all beat the Seahawks. You know, this this is the thing. But now it's a brother. What did y'all say last wait week? Wait a minute. This is what they say. They say, y'all haven't beat any any team with winning records. So we beat a team with winning, winning record. Oh, well, the Seahawks were struggling up until this week. They didn't have an offense. And then they, they came out and scored 35 points against your defense. Now your defense looks suspect. Now our defense looks suspect because a team, a professional team, scored 35 points against us? No. They played the way they were supposed to play. They were having trouble. Yeah, trouble. And they and came they, back they, and fixed the, fixed the issues that they had and scored 35 points. That's what you're supposed to do. They did take Black off of a Metcalf in motion. Black ended up getting a big interception that changed the whole momentum of the game. Yeah. In game, in game adjustments can decide decide the game. DK Metcalf ain't a bum. No, it's, no. It's almost like it's almost like they say, man, Bland got destroyed by me. No, Bland is an All Pro receiver. Every single Listen. year he's been in the league, a thousand every right. this. He, he is another version of Megatron just based upon size. Why it's yes. not like so? You got, so, you got, but it's he's this. 6'4", 250 pounds of muscle. Like, what do you expect a, a guy who's uh, Deron Bland is six foot, one hundred and eighty five pounds in his second year? Come on, man. Yeah, come on now. Come on, man. Yeah, like, he, like, he like, what like, he's supposed to do. He's just supposed to do, and and you know what? Through all of that, what I said last week is no matter what. How we win, they gonna say what the Cowboys did. Do, do, do X, Y, and Z. Yep. No matter how, exactly. no matter no matter what it is, it's gonna be what what this. Now I will say this: they have to give credit to Dak Prescott. So, so Dak yeah. Prescott has and been I, getting. I appreciate beginning. that. I can appreciate that too. Yes. So, but yeah. one game that me and you was complete. No, it was two games me complete blow off of them. Okay, 49ers it's Philly. Jesus. Did you see that coming? I I didn't. I, we I, picked I, them to I win? Picked Phil, I picked them to win, but I didn't know it was going to be like that. I thought like it would be a close game. The whole yeah, game. Too. So, But I don't know. The, the 49ers just came on offense. They just exploded uh, second half on offense. Debo. Yeah. Debo just ran the ball down their throat. So do you agree with sports media saying that and this kind of voids out the NFC Championship. No, I, I don't either. No, because either. even though Brock Purdy is hurt, I mean injuries happen every, every injuries, game. Injuries still a part quarterbacks of, part get of hurt the game. all the time. It's a this part is of not, the game. So no matter what happened, like San Francisco lost to the Eagles last year, and you can't it. take that away from the Eagles. Yeah, that's it. You you, you cannot take away. It's all, it's almost like I hate the term. Super Bowl, a rematch. <laughs> yeah, no, that's no. what is the what so is the Super Bowl Eagles, rematch? I still got no, next so week from this game. So the Eagles beat the Chiefs this year a couple week, well, a couple weeks ago. Did that make them yeah. the Super Bowl champions? Because they beat so them. So that's right. Yeah. That that makes that to me that's the to me that's a sports media dumb logic. It is. You can't you cannot base last season on one. You got. A percentage of your team is different. So now you got different personnel. Okay? Mm-hmm. So you do have different personnel. You can have the same coach, the same quarterback, the same the same core. Obviously, the same core is the most people. I'm not taking taking that away. But your whole personnel is now changed, even from coaching, coaching staff. Yeah. Two, two if you're down and they feel the momentum going, I'm subbing him out, whatever. Because we have next week. Because if it goes... The Eagles lost this week. That was number one. Where they win, the number one. So they still in a top ranking position. That whole right. It takes still away the NFC. Ch- yeah, you don't take away somebody grades or championship to justify your reason. I I no. hate them, but I would never be a person to take away something that they have completely earned. 
No, not at all. Yeah. Not yeah. at all. And um, one thing, another thing that they that they always try to do is with these quarterbacks. Um, we'll, we'll talk about them when we start doing these picks. Uh, for example, Justin Herbert, uh, Josh Allen. They still are saying these guys are number two and number three best quarterbacks in the league. Even Pat, even Patrick Mahomes, he's not a one or two best quarterback in the league right now. He's not at all. You talk That's about Dak Prescott, Brock Purdy. Mm -hmm. Those are number They're one, number, one number two. And two then one. you have Tua two two of Aloha, and you mm -hmm. have the guy CJ Stroud in, in the Houston as yes. number three or four. Those are the top four quarterbacks in the league. It's not the regular of Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, was, Justin Herbert, who hasn't say, done I, anything. I will say Patrick Mahomes still though. My I, I would disagree with you about Patrick Mahomes. Top five. I was yeah. Top five for sure. this year because Patrick Mahomes is making the best out of having no receivers. So yeah, yeah I, I I won't take away from, from Patrick because he's been making plays at the place at the place in one game. He has been he has been the P Mahomes of the past. I will I, I will say that this particular no look, but shoot, these people can't catch a ball. So right. hey, which Man, which we have seen, which we have seen. So so, but Josh Allen constantly made excuses. He is leading the league in interception with sixteen interceptions, sixteen or seventeen interceptions this year. He had led league multiple yeah. times, or oh, been top three multiple times. How many times are we gonna make excuses for him? Yes, he has a a lot to to do, but I have with football. Last I checked, wasn't golf. It's a team game. Right, right. everybody got to got, got participate in it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man. All right, what uh, you got? Let's get to the picks. You ready? You ready first, to get, get to the picks? Yeah, first game of the week is Thursday night game, which is tonight, and that's New England going into Pittsburgh to play to play the Steelers. I was watching Pat McAfee show earlier, and they were saying that the stadium might be empty. Uh, for this game, <laughs> even though it's a prime time game, that the, the Steelers fans won't even show up for this game. <laughs> That's the worst fan base, man. That's the worst fan base, dude. I'll tell you, I tell they have I, the worst fan base. I hate them. Yeah, are they? You think so? Is that the Eagles? Because fan fan base wise, no, Eagles are the most rude fan base. Yeah, they're rude. Yeah. They're oh rude. yeah, like 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 Eagles fan base is the most rude. The most wishy-washy fan base is, is definitely Pittsburgh, because Mike Tomlin had what sixty-seven years of winning. Now he's trying to create something. He don't even have a freaking quarterback. Right. They are, left are the they, game. Are they, huh? Are they? They left the game during the game Sunday. Okay. Okay. It was empty. Pick this out. Pick this out. <laughs> at, it started to rain. Uh -huh. So at halftime. They left. They didn't come back. It was already forty percent gone. So oh, a wow. storm came, but they didn't want to lose. The fans didn't want. They didn't want to see them lose to Arizona Cardinals. Let's just call it what it is. Cardinals was whooping that ass. Yeah. They did. They, <laughs> they didn't want to lose to a two and team team. And then, and then the argument was they got lose to them. So hey, if y'all want, hey, this is a copy. This is a. If Pissy vs. Steelers fans, if y'all wanted to compare week three to week 13, be right. my guess. Exactly. Be my guess. Be my guess. Exactly. Be my guess. <laughs> be my guess. <laughs> um, but I, I do got Pissy Berg winning this game. Uh, right, New, England. Uh, New England, who has no offense at all. They scored zero points last week against the Chargers. Right. Chargers only scored six points. But. <laughs> They're not going to score. Uh, they might score against Pittsburgh, but Pittsburgh's defense is, is not a run over defense. You can't run them over. So I, st yeah. I still think they'll make some uh, stops and maybe score a couple of field goals uh, against yeah. New England. So I got I got Pittsburgh winning this game nine to zero uh, against the Patriots. Thursday night prime time game where everybody the world's watching it. So they got to score something. Shannon Sh Sharp said something that I, that I love. He said when. People go lower. I go to the basement. <laughs> to the basement. <laughs> exactly. So, so the Patriots like, if you score five points, 
I'm gonna score three points. If you score three points, I'm gonna score no points. Like zero. <laughs> the Patriots try to lose games. So no matter mm-hmm. what, I mean, if if the Steelers score five points, the Patriots gonna finally score only three points. It is what it is. I can't see them scoring yeah, that many points at all. It's diamond three, yeah, 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 yeah. They they yeah, Pittsburgh too. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Patriots, they're just a dysfunctional franchise right now. Man. <laughs> they're dysfunctional. All right, right. so yeah. who I got next is the Bucks and the Falcons. I'm gonna go mm. Falcons. Okay, I'm going Falcons because. Falcons, they still are finding a way to to win a game. They're still part of the the AFC stuff, uh, the top of the line. They're number one right now. They're trying to stay the place. They're in a, they're in the playoff spot right now. So I'm uh, I'm gonna go with the Falcons. I just believe in them more, living more than I believe in the Buccaneers. So yeah. Um... I'm going to agree and go with the Falcons, too. Um, not that I believe that the Falcons are a great team because they still only yeah. scored 13 points against against the Jets. Jets, the Jets defense isn't uh, a bad defense. They, they just don't yeah. have a way to yeah. score points. Okay, so they points did up. score 13 points against the Jets, a Jets mm-hmm. defense who did beat the Eagles uh, if we want to talk about win or loss. So the Jets aren't Thanks. a bad defensive team. But... Uh, the Buccaneers last week struggled against the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, and almost lost that game. And so again, they should have lost. I, I just think that at home and the momentum that the Falcons have, they're going to win this game. Uh, this is a divisional rivalry game, mm-hmm. and I think the Falcons are going to win this uh, this division. Get the wild card spot and face the Cowboys or the Eagles in the first round of divisional playoffs in the wild card game. So wait a minute. So let's rewind that part. So mm-hmm. you don't think the Eagles gonna be top of the line, the number one team? See the first round by? No, I think we are. I think the Cowboys are. Really? Oh man. Yeah. Um, even yeah. though our, our schedule is tough, we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll talk about it. we yeah. got a tough schedule coming up. I mean, we got the Buffalo. We got Buffalo, who whose people are saying that's still a, a, a great team in the AFC, which I think they're not. We got the Buffalo Bills. We got the Miami Dolphins, who I think we can, who I know we can beat. We the got Buffalo the Washington Commanders again. It, we got the Lions. So in those the teams that, division. huh? Buffalo's in the second week of a division. Yes, yes, they are. Probably it could be the first week of division if it wasn't for uh, Miami. Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. So we'll talk about that when that yeah. when the game comes up. Oh, you got so, next. Uh, up next, I got I got the uh, oh man the Panthers going into New Orleans to play the Saints. Um, I'm going with the Saints. I think I think Derek Carr got hurt last week. I don't know how soon he'll be back. But you still got Jameis, you got famous Jameis, uh, <laughs> <laughs> who can throw the ball still, who can, who can, who can, who can use his legs still. Man. Against the Carolina Panthers, who have nothing going for them, there's no reason nothing. why Carolina should win this game. Uh, the Saints still have good uh, a good core defense. Cam Jordan's still there, yeah. so yeah. Um, I, I just don't see Carolina winning this game. They I they they come close to winning some games this year. But not against yeah. the Saints. They still have some something going for them. I'm gonna go go to the Saints too. Carolina Panthers. They just can't figure out how to win games. They have the worst offensive line I think have I have ever seen. I feel so bad for the kid Bryce Young, dude. Worse than like, uh, the Jets' offensive line. Yes, worse mm. because because the Jets' offensive line also has this. Whack quarterbacks. Okay, so yeah. quarterback, but quarterback play is right. But the average time for a quarterback to get rid of the ball is 2.6, 2.7 times. Do mm-hmm. you know that average time Brex Young has? What? 1.9. Less than, a, less than two seconds? 1.9 uh-huh. is average time. 
2.1 depending on which metric are you using. Both of them is at the bottom of the release time. So their offensive line, they will block a team. They will block the left side to block two players. Meanwhile, on the right side, player coming right on through. Coaches, that I see why fire coach. I see why Bryce Young is having the year he's having. He cannot, as a rookie quarterback, he got put in a bad position. He should have a developmental year, or at least a mm. let me not I get you it's a year behind because this offensive line is that is that horrible. So yeah. I thought this last week they're gonna have a list, this just an emotional embrace that was going away, going with the Saints. Jameis Winston was it's probably one quarterback that can throw three in the and not give a damn. <laughs> had the same had, had the same mentality. Next yeah. next play, he's the he's the yeah. best. He's the definition of next play up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> some gone. He's got a, with this. Huh? No, it's good. He, he's got a short memory. He's got short, a short memory. Be shortest. Uh, so I'm going with Saints on this one. So All I right, want to so. say this about the uh, about the Carolina Panthers offensive line. So they, the What's the up? problem is they left tackles terrible. So yeah. that's why they that's why they right put tackle. the left tackle is, it protects his blind side. Yeah. That's why they put the other the right guard or tight end over there to help protection because they, yeah. he'll get sacked more than he's getting sacked now. Oh my so God. that's why the right side is so wide open. But it, that 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 should be their number one priority this year. This draft is to get a left tackle. That left tackle needs to go. Like he needs to go somewhere, yeah. play somewhere else, or do something else. Yeah, that's not I for agree. him. Football is not for him. Yeah, because he yeah, he, he let that happen. That's that's, your, that's pra- your number one guy. He, he's a he, he's a really good practice squad player. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, like this, this this off season, he should probably they should their whole focus needs to be on offensive line. Yeah, off offensive yeah. line, they got revamp the whole line. You don't end this kid career sooner than it should. No, because he's he's not bad. He's not a bad quarterback. He's, he's not, not bad. bad. He just needs. Protection. He don't have the chance. To, he don't have the chance to be good. Jalen Hurts was the best quarterback his first year. But what did they right. go and do? They revamped everything. And now Jalen Hurst in the conversation for MVPs now. So mm-hmm. so don't don't make this kill feel before he even has a chance to even prove anything. CJ Stroud at least yeah. got put in a better in a better position. He did. So he did. It is what it is. So so he has a better light. His light is shining better because of that even though Bryce Young is a, is a smarter quarterback, that is his downfall. Yeah. All right. So who I got next is uh Rams and the Ravens. I can see this being an upset. No, I'm going with the Ravens. Clearly. Okay. Rams. Rams coming <laughs> off of. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Get me for a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna rate Ravens, it. but <laughs> Rams. <laughs> Easy <base> win. <laughs> Matthew Stafford coming off of three touchdowns. So he's connecting better with his players. So so understand my a reason. He's judging better with his uh, receivers. Yeah. He's, he's finding receivers now. He's getting a flow because all he had was Cooper Cup. So he didn't know how to really fully incorporate the other two receivers now. So now mm-hmm. he's learning how to incorporate all three three receivers uh, plus get his tight end involved now. So offensively, offensively, they can match the Ravens. Defensively, they cannot. Right. Ravens got the better defense, hands down. If somehow the, if the defense, let's say defense have a bad game. Okay. Now we got a tight game. Now we got a tight game between the Ravens and the Rams. Because the Rams can't keep up with them offensively. They can't keep up with them defensively. Right. So if the defense have a bad have a bad game, then we might have a game. If the defense still shows up, it's the Ravens all day. So I'm yeah, picking the I, Ravens I, for the overall. I, I'm picking the Ravens too, but I think this would be a close game because two things. Uh the Ravens uh offense of weapons are limited. 
First of all, because Mark Andrews is hurt. Second of yeah. all, because you still only you only have Zay Flowers as a, and uh, uh, Odell Beckham. Well, Odell's still there, but he's not targeting Odell. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and, it's up and, up and down. It's, yeah, right, exactly. so it's up and down. You never know who which Odell's going to show up. And Lamar Jackson is known for his uh, turnovers if he's pressured. You still got Aaron down on the That's other right. side, but the prop the thing is, is that. Ravens offensive line has been showing up the last couple of weeks. So he, yeah. they've been limited, limited the, the sack amounts and the pressure on onto uh Lamar Jackson. Now, the Ra- the Rams offense. So P- uh, Puka Nakua only played the first half last week and they still yeah. scored 36 points mm-hmm. with only uh, uh Cooper Cup and the rest of the uh and, and t- that's how will. I, I don't know who, who, who other weapons he got on this yeah, yeah. on the team. They still got the uh, was it, who's the a back what's the back name uh, for the Rams? Rick. He's a, his last name is a son. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, is, a win. is it Henderson? Henderson, Henderson, Henderson. Henderson. Yeah, so, is so they still have. Yeah. No, no, they got they still got him. He, they, uh, he's still yeah. there. He's not yeah. hurt. Yeah, Henderson. Uh, but they have, they have solid, solid. Uh, weapons for the Rams offense. If this game is close and the defense shows up for the Rams defense shows up and put pressure on the Ravens, uh, the Rams could win this game, but exactly I'm not going exactly. yeah, so, to so pick them though. You just agree with me. I said, yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. A, it's about, it's about, okay. It's about, okay. If the Ravens defense have a bad game, it's a close game. Offense, too often, they can be matched. It's, yeah. it's going to come down. It's going to come down to defense. I have more faith in the Ravens' a defense. So, I'm going to yeah, go I'm with sure. the Ravens. I'm like, so, if you're going to go with picks, I'm going to go with the Ravens. Purely not because of their offense, but because of their defense. Right. Exactly. All right. Next game is... <sighs> I don't even want to talk about this game. You got the Texans going into uh, the New York to play the Jets. CJ Stroud is going to show out. My, uh, <laughs> listen, no, no, because the Jets defense is good. All right, they're not bad. They're not a bad defense. They have a good defense, solid defense. Yeah. Uh, but CJ Stroud and his weapon I, is is uh, what's name back this week? The tight end for uh, for Oaks. the Jets. Schultz. For, Schultz. 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 Yeah, for uh, the Texans. For the Texans. It's up in the air. Okay. All, all reports are saying that he should play, but we won't know until Friday or Sunday game. Either so way, though. That that's Either a way. but that's a big swing. But that's a, big, a big swing. swing though. It'll a be a closer swing. game. It'll be a closer game if he doesn't play. But if he does Correct. play, it'll be a higher scoring game for CJ Stroud in their in their Correct. offense. The Jets are starting because he had a lot more just announced. Yep, they just announced that uh, Zach Wilson will Zach be starting Wilson. this week. Okay, even though it was earlier said that he said he didn't want to play because he, you know, I was gonna say, he didn't even want to play. No, Aaron he, Rodgers he, was he, on, he, well, Aaron Rodgers was on Pat McAfee's show. And he said that he never said that. He said he never said that no. because if he said that, he would not be a part of this organization. That's what the coach said. But Pat, uh, but Aaron Rodgers said that. Uh, it was leaked. Yes, he's afraid to get injured. Of course, he's afraid to get injured because the offensive line is, is terrible. But he's willing. To, no he's faith. willing to, they, to play. They, and they have no faith in him. the team. Okay, team? no, is that Wilson? <laughs> yeah, you think they don't? Are no. they? Are they supposed to? Are they supposed to uh, in publicly have faith in him or privately Public. not have faith in him? Publicly, they say Public. this. Oh. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Imagine you're a quarterback, star quarterback. Mm-hmm. You're in for the Jets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're in. You're mm-hmm. out. Mm. You're in. Yeah. You're out. Yeah. Okay. Wait. You're in now again. <laughs> hey, yo, would you want to for this damn team? Perky, I want to jump to the ball. You know what? After Aaron Rodgers came, and you know, he, he, we all know Aaron Rodgers was going to—he's uh, going to play for a couple of years. We knew that, right? 
He's going to yeah. play for a couple of years. And Zach Wilson, is he, was he going to stay there and learn behind Aaron Rodgers? Or is he going to say, uh, I got, I'm going to go to another team because y'all got Darren. Okay. Y'all don't need me anymore. Okay, here's, here's what the thought was from, from the back right. They're just going to try to mow him like they Green Bay motor Jordan Love. See, Jordan Zach Miller. Wilson okay. there. Zach Wilson never had an example to follow, follow, follow him. Okay? At least Jordan Love had Aaron Rodgers to look to, advise him. Aaron Rodgers would admit he wasn't the best verbal of mentor. But if you right. if you come to me, if you mimic how I work, my ethics, my viewpoints, hell, you may learn 10 times more than what I can ever say. Zach Wilson got <laughs> thrown into, because because he was top five pick, he got thrown automatically into he never had the example. Then he get a different coach. He never had the example. So Zach Wilson, and that's why Aaron Rodgers has said he felt like he failed Zach Wilson. He has admitted this because he was supposed to help Zach Wilson become the next. A year mm-hmm. or two, he may play a game or two. Boom, he gets into the first game. He didn't even get a chance to even see a practice right. during the season at least. During the season. So, yeah. during the season, season, season so, so that changes the whole per- that that changed the whole perception of the Jets master. Now Zach Wilson, shit, I'm back where I was last last week. The starting starting quarterback thrown 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 right on in. So yeah, that's a man. The Jets had the most potential this this season. They I, do, they do. They they had the most most potential man, and I, I think there's I think if I had to pick a season that has gone to waste, it would definitely be the Jets. And I actually feel bad for them. Yeah, I do too. I do too, especially after watching uh, Hard Knocks yeah. and seeing the the process yeah. of them, you know, getting the, the team ready for the season. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to to not root for them during yeah. that during that time, and then to see them yeah. the way they are now, and then they had a four game winning streak. And then yeah. end up having a five game losing streak. So it's mm-hmm. like going up and down, you get your hopes yeah. up, and then I don't feel bad for the Jets fans. I just feel bad for the team. Yeah. The organization <laughs> but, but not, at the end of the day, oh, we're sports fans. So at the end of the day, there's, yeah. there's only a couple of teams that I, I, I hope they have Hill every year. Uh, right. So I'm not going to make right. <laughs> oh, We so, know who they are. Hey, we all know who they are. So that's it. That's it. Who you got next? So wait, wait. So, so we still didn't make it clear. Oh, uh, uh, Houston, the Texans. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's Texans. Okay, all right. All right. Who you got next? Uh, I got the uh, the Colts going into Cincinnati to play the Bengals. Uh, hmm, that's a, that's gonna be it's a good game. game. It's, that's it's a, a toss one, but I'm going for I'm going for a toss up game like this. I'll, I gotta stay with the home the home team. Browning is not looking bad at all. Uh, he didn't look bad last week when he beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. So yeah. I think he'll do the same thing against the Colts. The Colts aren't a great team. Right? They they put out a win last week uh, against the Titans at a close with a close game up until yeah. it was the overtime game and they kicked the field goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I still got the Cincinnati Bengals. Their uh, offense is still. You know, they still have some motion in their offense. You still got Jamar Chase. You still got the uh, the running back. You still got Browning. And they're all yeah. So, yep, yep. They, so they're all like playing. They still playing the way they're supposed to play, even though uh, uh, the quarter the, the yeah. starting quarterback is gone. They. I'm gonna go with the Bengals too because they have they now have a time to even jail now. So 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 basically saying is they have time to actually understand okay who this quarterback is. How yeah. we can we can come in? Hey, he is not Joe Burrow. We're not putting him in even the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. But right. since that overall, they do still have a soft team and they're still playing. See, it's not like they gave up, right? I mean, and I think so that that's, that has something to do with the office of coordinator. I think his name yeah. is Zach Taylor. Zach Taylor, I think Zach his Taylor. name is. That's it. That's, that's it. Yeah, and, and he's done. He's done a great job with adjusting from Joe Burrow mm-hmm. to Browning mm-hmm. and saying, "This yep. is what we're situations we're going to put you in, and this is how we're going to, you know, play the game to, in order for us to win the game." That's a great yeah. offensive coordinator. That's a yeah. smart man. So uh, I'm actually on Gucci there. I'm also going with the Bengals too. Plus, they're on the momentum. They just mm-hmm. won a big game. I think they're going to. Then they're going to pull it through. Uh, 
Colts is just too iffy for me. Even though they have been winning again, and believe that they're still in playoff contention, which is crazy. Yeah. When you, yeah. When you when you when you think about it, regarding Michigan, because me personally, I love Gardner Michigan. Now it's corporate guy. I just love the guy because he's just funny to me. But right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like his personality will make you want to play for him and with him. But I still yeah. think the Bengals, the Bengals going is going to pull it through. Because overall, they still do have the better team. John Taylor's going to the hard mm-hmm. season. Michael Pittman, Pittman is not having his best year. This is probably one of his, his lowest I've ever seen. But they still haven't found a way to win certain games. But County, they, they played the the Titans last week who don't know who they are anymore. So, right. but, so me, you I mean, also agree here. You got, you got Kyle Pittman who's getting passes and dropping passes. Uh, unless I mean wide open passes, that's a problem. So uh, Michael Pittman, yeah, Michael Pittman, my yeah, yeah. dropping wide open <laughs> yeah. passes, like that's that's unacceptable. I'm sorry, especially, he, especially if you're supposed to be the number one receiver. He's been a thousand year receiver. Like I say he is not having his his best year. I think also because he's he probably has given up. But as a leader, you cannot you can't do, do that. that. You can't you can't no. do that. So I I just yeah. Yeah, yeah. Next up, I have Cleveland Browns and Jacksonville Jaguars. Jags. That's an easy pick for me. Jags, too. Jags, Jags, too. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, they lost that. <laughs> even though Trevor Lawrence is hurt, he um, is high. Uh, th- 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 is he coming back? Is he out? I th- no, no. He, there, uh, there's a chance he might come back this week. Yes. I think he Somebody might have the same surgery. Um, somebody just had surgery? surgery. Who has ankles? It, yeah, it, it's like a minor surgery has, to to fix the high ankle sprain. If he has a high ankle sprain surgery, he's not coming back. Well, I'm saying but if he does week, have the surgery, he's not. But if he does, if he doesn't have the surgery, he'll play this week. He'll play Sunday. Uh, okay, okay, um, okay. Yeah. But uh, they can still run the ball with Travis Etienne. Travis still Etienne. run the ball against the Brown. The Browns Can't have raise. Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco <laughs> started quarterback. <laughs> he just came out of re- came off the couch or out of retirement or somewhere. And he was a lay down, got a phone call. I, was, I guess I'm wrong. I'm yeah. <laughs> so, nah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I think I also think the Browns have given up on the season. So yeah. And it, yeah. it's, that's kind of sad because I was kind of rooting for them to play to have a good season this year. Yeah, they um, are. Yeah, so. they, I mean, they're, especially with their defense. Their defense is good; it's not bad at all. It's just yeah. the offense got to have somewhere, got to have somebody to throw the ball. And Deshaun yeah. Watson, you know, being in and out of the uh, offense of the uh, lineup, and then now out of the lineup with uh, soldier uh, shoulder surgery, and then you have these two quarterbacks who. Haven't had any experience, you know, enough to win games. Now you got Joe no Flacco who has too much experience. Yeah, no running back. Running back got hurt. Forgot about that. Oh my god. Yeah, no running back. Uh, Miles, Miles Garrett hurt. I mean, jeez. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Jaguars. I, that's, that's all I gotta say about that. I don't even have a long conversation about that. I mean. Oh no, that's that's it. <laughs> uh, that's it. Next thing. <laughs> This game, they got the Lions going to Chicago to play the Bears. Um, I got the Lions, of course. Even though I think this is going to be another close game, just like it was uh, really? the week before thanks the week before Thanksgiving when the Bears almost beat the Lions. Um, not that the Lions, uh, the Bears are good, but because this division, they play game. This is the way they play games. They play hard nosed football, no matter who, what the what the record is. They play hard. just like the is- Green Bay Packers. Beat yeah. uh, the Lions on Thanksgiving, so yeah. I think it's to be a close game. But well, got the Lions pulling out because they are a fa- the favor. They have a, a the better defense, the better offense. They're still uh, Jared Goff is not a, a terrible quarterback. He he can make yeah. some mistakes, but he can still get the ball downfield to yeah, Amon Ra Saint Saint Brown. Uh, he's probably one of the best, one of my best uh, favorite receivers to watch this year. Yeah. Um, and they still have the the you know they have tight ends. They still have the other receivers. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Williams, who came back after mm-hmm. six, uh, what, after three weeks, after four weeks. Yeah, yeah, um, three weeks. Yep. So they have a solid. They still have a solid offense. 
Uh, defense is, is solid. And Dan Campbell is not going to lose Chicago this year. So I'm going to have to go go the Lions, too. They have the overall simply better team. I think that two game where Jared Goff was playing horribly, I think that was just two bad stretches of, of a season. And that happens. Um, and, and, and that, that happens because before then he was playing overall great. The last game he played overall great. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I feel like what I said last week is I think he has just two bad games. We cannot late, we cannot allow two bad games to dictate the whole season. We cannot go off of the emotions of it. The Chicago Bears are discombobulated and they're going for the number one pick. They that's they have the number one pick too. So <laughs> they're already they're already through their whole season away. Yeah. I'm going going with the Lions deep because now they're playing for a position too. They're also playing, playing for a playoff push to be a position record in our squad too. So mm-hmm. and they're leading into the Cowboys game in the next coming weeks. So they're trying to get that momentum going. Big game coming up in what three weeks. I'll yeah. be at that game too, by the way. Uh what? Wait, so what? yeah. Wait, where's it at? Yep. Dallas. And Dallas. I'll be at the Wow. I'll be at the Dallas. I'll be at the Dallas and Detroit game. Can we can we get some sideline reports? Let's get it. Say less. <laughs> so I, I will be I'll be at the Dallas Dallas Detroit game, and we will be going with me, and my wife, also, and we're going with some Detroit fans. So it's gonna be it's gonna okay. be it's gonna be oh, a yeah. fun, crazy, crazy time. Yeah, yeah. But they're trying to get the momentum going. I have a lot of faith in Detroit. I think I think this is a game that. It's a done deal unless, barring injury, of course, if this is a done hill yeah. game. I don't see any way the Chicago Bears beat the Lions. I don't see any way. All right. Uh, I, think, I don't think we disagree on any games. This, this, uh, like, this, this is crazy. Like, this is the I mean, most. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Usually, you have like, like games that we just. I, I don't see. I just don't see it. Yeah. I'm looking, I'm looking I'm like, my still, still got a few more games to go, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next game is the, uh, the Minnesota Vikings going into Las Vegas to play the Raiders. Um, I got the Vikings, even though okay, the Raiders but... they had they had some excitement and some momentum. Yeah. Huh? So we finally got our game. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the Raiders they had some excitement and the momentum because of the new coach, new quarterback. Yeah. They were playing, you know, and and they, you know, they did fall off. But I just think the Vikings are going to clean things up uh, with the uh, Pastronaut wow. <laughs> and cool. um, and the Pastronaut. That's what they call uh, the quarterback. Oh, 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 Dobbs, Dobbs. <laughs> yeah, Dobbs. Dobbs. They call him the Pastronaut. Because he's an astronaut, <laughs> astrophysicist. Yeah, I, 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 I see it. <laughs> uh, but I got Minnesota That's winning funny. this game. Uh, I think this will be an upset. This is gonna be. This is my pick for the upset of the week. It's not an upset. I win the favorite though. Uh, the Vikings are actually favored to win this game, so mm-hmm. it's not really an upset. But I will go. But I'm going with the Raiders. Because the Vikings, the last two games, other than the first game, Josh Dallas came. Josh Dallas, I'm not taking anything away from him. Mm-hmm. But I think the Raiders are playing for a little bit more now. They're playing for more Raider a nation. I think they're finally clicking. They got rid of their certain coaches and certain players that was hold, holding them back. They have now a rhythm. Every game they have lost, they have been in. And they even won. I believe they won their last game, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they 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 won their last game. Raiders Vegas on a two game a losing streak. They're not collectively a team right now. Mm-hmm. So I think the Raiders. This if the Raiders win, that's going to be definitely the upset. I think the Raiders are going to win this game, and I think it's going to be a dominant game too. A dominant I think, game? Like a I think the I think mm. or a two score game. I'm sorry, a two score game. Okay. I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a two a two score game with the 24-14. Raiders. 24-14 nah, Vikings. Uh, it can be twenty to ten. Okay. 
20, 20, 20 to 10, 21 to 21 to 10. The Vikings are not putting up points right now. They're not putting up points. They can't seem to find the ball anywhere. They are not putting up points right now. Meanwhile, the Raiders are, are actually putting up some points, and the defense is even playing playing better. The last game I watched, I was like, okay, Raiders. Y'all actually not, not uh, looking bad. The right. Vikings looking horrible. They're on a, they're on a down here trip. Right, the Raiders on an up here trip. So for this one, I'm definitely going the Oakland Raiders. I think you should go for the Oakland Raiders. If you follow Lance's picks for this week and, and pick the Raiders, <laughs> <laughs> and they lose, <laughs> call, <laughs> call the winner Call win or lose sports. It's win or lose sports, baby. Win or lose sports, baby. 8252 and leave a message. Leave a voice message for Lance for him telling okay. you to pick the Raiders. 419 540 8252 and call and, and, and complain to Lance. Look, the Raiders are in a tougher division. That's true. So so it's not oh, like. Definitely. So they're in a tougher division where almost their whole division. Actually plays good. The Minnesota yeah. Vikings only have the Detroit Lions, who just came out of this this year. The Rays are in a tough division, so the games they have a loss been predominantly to the division on good games. I'm going, okay. going, going, make your excuses. I'm going with the Rays. I'm going with the Rays. Right. I'm going with the Rays <laughs> on, on this. I'm going to raise on on this one. Four one nine five four zero. <laughs> Don't give me cuss time. <laughs> All right, so so All right, who you got? Who you got next? Hey. Who, who got I got. Oh shoot, a good one. Mm-hmm. Oh man, a, a good one. The Bills and Chiefs. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I don't know about this one. Chief, the, the Chiefs just ain't been chiefing. Ain't been chiefing, but they gonna chief these Buffalo Bills. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got the Chiefs. The, they gonna be chiefing against the Buffalo Bills. Uh, yeah. I got the Bills winning the game. I said again. Uh, it's not a secure pick. This is not. I'm not confident about this pick. I just think that they'll win this game because of how bad they looked last week against the Packers. They're gonna fix some things that they was me- that that. That's the type of coach that Andy Reid is. Yeah. There were things that were messed up last week. He's gonna correct them. Especially against the Buffalo Bills, a team that they that that everybody has high regard for for some reason this year. Buffalo Bills is a is a top AFC team. Not, not I don't anymore. know why people keep saying not that. Any, not not anymore. Because they're they're not they're not. The defense is suspect. Von Miller is probably not going to be there for the rest of the year. Um, because of the situation, right. I'm not even going to talk talk about that. But yeah, uh, and Josh about, Allen has not but, been looking like. The Josh Allen that they that they thought he was going to be. He's not the man that they thought he is. That thought he, that, that they thought he was. He's been throwing, like you say, he leads the league in interceptions. He does lead the league in second in uh, touchdown passes, or well, third in touchdown passes uh, now because yeah. of the bye week. But um, yeah. Yeah, you know they they just don't they they're a team that don't find ways to win. They find ways to lose at the end of games rather than find ways to win. I think the Chiefs will take advantage of that. I get that. That's true. That's true. I I totally agree with you that when it comes to a close game, I do not believe in the Bills. I'm gonna have to go go with the Chiefs on this one because I have more faith in the coaching and the mm-hmm. defense and then the quarterback of of the Chiefs. I believe the stars will show up. I believe Travis Kelsey. Is going to to ball depending of weather though. I will say yeah, the weather could the, the weather could play a part because there are saying it's, it could be possible snow and everything else. So that could play mm-hmm. a part, but that of course won't be out until until then. So as of right now, I am going with the Chiefs because I overall believe in the Chiefs a lot more. But we also said it last week we believe in the Chiefs when it comes to, yeah. to him and Jordan Love. So and we was clearly uh, wrong about that. Excuse me. So uh, I'm gonna have to go go with the Chiefs on that one for, for sure. Just because of, just because of 
the overall, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so. All right. Jeez. I don't think I got any more to say about though. that one. It is a tough game. It's tough one, though, man. And, and, but, but, but because, because I would not be surprised if the Bills can't came about and just decided to just grow up. Right. And come together. See, that's what it, the that's Bills exactly has, what it is. Because because they're they're dysfunctional. Stephon Diggs versus versus Josh Allen. So the Bills yeah. has a lot of this, they have a lot of dysfunction going on within the system. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's that's why they are there. Josh Allen think he has to do everything on his own, which is leading them to where to why he has sixteen interception. They don't right. uh, utilize other run game enough. They they miss open passes. It's it's like I don't. I don't understand He's, the running game. You got a you got a like, nice back. You got you got like, two nice backs. But Cook they're is, running against Cook confusing. Is nice. Like, Cook it's confusing. Above six yards, he averages above six yards a carry. So why are you not running the ball? Like know. stop that's, putting that's it all right on there. Josh Allen, dude. Like this is yeah. this is my this is my problem with the Buffalo Bills because they could be a great team if they switch up. I, I don't know, but that's why I'm saying I'm gonna go to the Chiefs because I just don't believe. And the Bills are much I believe in the overall the Chiefs. The Chiefs can have a can have a downfall downfall hell. The go the Golden State stay worse high enough, but they still are a dynasty. You still you still yes. believe in them a lot more when the time comes about. You are still going to believe in them more than you believe in the opposite. So yep, that's where I'm at. Yeah. All right. Who right. right, you got next? Uh, I got the Seattle Seahawks going into San Francisco to play the 49ers. 49ers, uh, who came out last week and just uh, punched the Eagles in the mouth and basically destroyed their every every confidence they had and being yeah, the man. top top seed in the in the NFC, which yeah, they still are the top seed part. in the NFC. I'm saying they they as far as the confidence, but as far as the top seed in the NFC, it's still the it's still the Eagles. But the San Francisco okay. 49ers showed why they are uh, one of the best contenders. For the NFC right. uh, championship, right? right. Uh, they'll do the right. same thing against like that they get, did against the Seahawks two weeks ago. Uh, it's going to be another blowout game. I don't think Geno Smith is good, but there's some something about him that's not connecting. <laughs> I don't think uh, he actually played good last week. He did. That's it, what I'm saying. It, but it, against, it, it, against San Francisco, he didn't look. He didn't look that way against San Francisco. I don't know. Is because their I defense think, is more is is better than you know. I don't know. Do San Francisco have like a mental edge over teams? Yeah, yeah. Teams are afraid yeah. of them. They, I think they, quarterbacks are scared. They, to they throw the ball or hold the ball, you know, or yeah. you know, and they can't. We can't run. Most teams can't run against uh, San Francisco's defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they. I don't know. For some some reason, some reason they seem to have like the most intimidating team. Where when teams just 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 face them, especially when you put Debo Debo Samuel is the most important person on that team. He is way more important say, than Christian McCaffrey. Most people don't believe that, but it's true. I would say, remember when I was saying back when I said, "Is Debo playing?" No, well, I'm picking right. the other team. Exactly. Is, is he playing? Well, now I'm picking San Francisco. He is the most important because he's the most unstoppable, most versatile player. And he's playing with Debo Samuel. I believe in Demo, Debo than anything else because he's the most unstoppable yeah. player on on that team. So the, team, San the, the games that they lost, he did not play. The games exactly. that they lost, Debo did not play. So mm-hmm. yeah, you're right. So it's all, it's all about is he playing? Well, I'm going over San San Francisco. Brock Purdy is in the best position as a quarterback. He yes. have a solid defense. Yeah. They just got Chase Young. They got an offensive minded coach. Uh, he has a weapons all the way around. Man, I ain't gonna lie, dude. I want to see them again in the playoffs. I don't know. You want to? You want to see them in the playoffs? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't either. But I mean, if, <laughs> if it comes down to it, we just gonna have to. They just gonna have to. Uh, Come do to some, do, figure something out. Just to freaking show pray, up. Pray. Show pray up. Debo, you know, doesn't make it to the the game or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, see, I would never wish for 
uh, injury. No, not not an injury, not an injury. Maybe he gets stuck but in traffic sick. or something. Maybe. Yeah, it's on traffic. <laughs> if, he, if, he, if he got a cold or something, call me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah not, not an injury. <laughs> yeah, I was an injury. Uh, uh, who I have the next? Oh, dude, we ain't talking about are the Broncos and the Chargers. Oh no, no, that's a, uh, a Sunday night game. Sunday afternoon yeah. game. No, Sunday afternoon game. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have I have the Broncos here. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I got the Chargers in this one. Yeah, that's another okay. one we disagree on. Yeah, I okay. mean, uh, the way Russell Wilson played last week, you know, he didn't play bad. He just made some mistakes at the end of the game, which would yeah. made them look bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the Chargers, on the other hand, who played the New England Patriots and beat them six to zero. How do you not do that? How do you not put up points against the against the uh against the Patriots? I don't know. But I think they they're fixed, you know, uh Kellen Moore, you know, he was our offensive coordinator last year. And he was known for his yeah, high octane see. offense. Sometimes he can be very much. do too much in order for us not to win games. Right. Sometimes, right. Uh, what the problem is with Kellen Moore is when you're putting up, uh, you score on every drive in two minutes. What's that going to do to our defense? Make them tired because huh? they're constantly coming back on the. Uh, yeah. We yeah, score yeah. fast. That's going to make our defense score fast. Fast plays yeah, all day. That's going to make yeah, our defense yeah, tired. Yeah. yeah. And you can't you can't win you can't win games. You can score points. You can be the highest ranking uh, uh, offense in the league, but you're yeah. not going to win games that way. Yeah, that's his problem. Because you're going to tie him all day. I agree. Yeah, but I, I still got the Chargers winning this game. Um, I, just because. So after all of that, so after all of that, <laughs> yada yada yada, I'm still going to charge. <laughs> Did you say exactly. every reason why I charge the wrong way? <laughs> yada yada, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, I'm going with the Chargers. I'm gonna go. Going to fight for the Broncos have not have not been been playing bad. The Broncos Russell has to find Jerry Judy better. He's been wide mm-hmm. open on multiple occasions. For some reason, he's not seeing him. So what they're going to do this week? They're going to review him. And look, he's wide open on all these plays. This is your best receiver. You know why you can't you can see? Also, how tall? Why? How tall are you? Why? How tall are you? How tall are you, Lance? Five, five nine. How tall is Russell Wilson? 5'11"? Five eleven. He five ten. Five ten. Okay. So he, he, when, he you, can't when, see. You, when you got yeah, when you, yeah, yeah, when yeah. you got linemen, uh, his linemen are taller than me. They yeah. six four yeah. and six yeah. five, and so yeah, I got you. it's yeah. hard to see, especially when you play Jerry. Jerry Judy plays in slot a lot, so yeah, that's that's right in the middle of the field most of the time. So you can't see that as a, as a shorter quarterback. So that's that's the, that's hey. the problem. You got to find ways to get him to be seen. They have and most to of the time they're gonna, they're gonna throw screen passes because he's a fast he's fast Jerry Judy is fast so he's gonna find like, like, and, screen passes and he, he can actually catch the ball yeah like yeah court is is he, is he, is a, is he an Alabama alumni Alabama right yes I think so yeah Alab- Alabama Jerry Judy they 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 need to utilize him more I think they they. From from what the reports were saying, Russell even acknowledged it. Okay, so which so which means to tell tell me this coming week, he's going to look for him. Mm. So if you look for more, now you got more more passes. So also fancy players, Jamie Judy, I would say start him this week in your fancy leagues. If he's if he's been on your bench, start him this week. It's it's his championship week. Playoff push championship week. Russell Wilson finally acknowledged that he has to seek Jerry Judy more, which means mm-hmm. he's going to throw it to him more. So his target is going to increase. I would say Jerry Judy is a must start this week in fantasy. Side note, just plugging it. Uh, so I'm going with the Broncos. That's that's my pick. If I ever hold my peace. 
fantasy owners, if you pick Jerry Judy to be in uh, start your fantasy this week, call 419-540-8252. And thank Lance. Thank Lance for the uh, the tip for the, of the week for fantasy teams. They're going to be targeting him more this week. They have said it. Jerry Judy will get targeted more, more this week. Bar injury, I can't do anything about at that part. But at least he's going to look for him more. So I would say Jamie Jewy is, is is a great definitely great start this week. Just doing okay. a fancy club. All right. All right. Next game. All right. Uh the Packers going into New York to play the Giants. This is a no brainer. Um I got Jordan Love, who's been playing excellent over the last few weeks, especially mm-hmm. playing against uh, elite mm-hmm. teams. Uh, they beat the mm-hmm. uh, uh, Detroit Lions a few weeks ago. Uh, they beat uh, the Chiefs last week. The they think they're going to blow out blow out these uh, these struggling Giants this week. Giants got four wins. I don't know who they beat, but I don't know how they got. They beat the Patriots, <laughs> like that, but, and, and they beat the uh, they beat the Commanders one time. So they beat the uh, Commanders, yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be so, either. but I, I still got the the Packers. This will be easy win for yeah. the Packers in New York to play the Giants. Yeah, I'm also going going with the positive. I'm loving Jordan Love. He's finally at in Austin, Christian Watson, which I've been saying he has to find a way to, to connect with them. Since Jordan Love been connecting with, with Watson, the field has opened up so much more. Opened up. And, yep. And Jesse, I've been telling you, I say, dude, you gotta find a way to get your yeah. best receiver the ball. Since they have You've done that, they've that been on the way. Episode. Since the first week, he's the best receiver on your team. Get him the mm-hmm. ball. So they're yep. finally connecting. So now, and you got there's the the other kid, uh, Reed, who's there, yeah, uh, connected with too. So mm-hmm. Reed is also also balling too. So I'm definitely going going Packers. The Giants had gave up on they gave up on the season. It's the best. Yeah, yeah. They they're looking at a next season, so they're playing for uh, 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 picks now. Yeah, now now is everybody celebrating the Tommy DeVito? Yeah, uh, <laughs> celebrating. That's facts. So, I don't know. That's facts. That, that's 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 what the Giants yeah. got going for them. Tommy Tommy DeVito. Um, so that's it. Who you got next? That's uh, the Dolphins and Titans, which we all say is a no-brainer, going with the Mag- the Mag- Dolphins. You might as well call this a bye week up for the Dolphins. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. But the well Dolphins call- sometimes do play down to their opponents, and yeah. this could be one of those games to where it sneaks up- sneaks up on them, and uh, you know, kind of smacks them in the mouth, like, hey, you know, we're we're still football, we're still a professional football team. But I'm still going with the Dolphins. I mean, yeah. with all that being said. Uh, I'm still going with the Dolphins. It's just that I, I think the Dolphins should be careful about playing these teams because you know they haven't lost to a team that's uh, under 500. They only beat teams under 500, actually, and they only got I think one win against a, 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 a team with yeah, a winning record. One win. Yeah. Yeah. But now you sound like are the Cowboys haters. Just. I'm just it's still the facts though. Still facts. Still facts. <laughs> <laughs> but. A Tyreek is Tyreek is going for two thousand yards. All those fails, mm-hmm. they're going to throw it to Tyreek to get him his two thousand. He's he's determined to be the first two thousand yard yard receiver. So you he, know he, they're going to get that. So so you know they're about to come out here and pass the ball. So you know what's mm-hmm. going to happen. They're going to throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. Tyreek Hill all day. Obviously, start the Dolphins because there's there's. Titans have not given you any reason to to go for them. Like, no, there's no reason to actually go for them. So, and, and their defense is very suspect. I mean, the the, the the Colts put up 31 points against them, and they're not a, a yeah. elite offense at all. So right. when you got the Dolphins coming in town, uh, I mean, you can expect 40 40 plus points. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so you know, you're not gonna throw the ball. So the. the the game, game everybody the game of the week. <laughs> Alright, leave us in this one, brother. Who you got here? So I'm curious. I'm curious. The last, time they, curious. last time these two teams played, 
I called if it. If you all remember back to episode I number, I think it's episode number two, I think we did. Uh, Lance picked the Cowboys to lose this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Philadelphia win this game. I picked the Cowboys mm-hmm. because I just thought the Cowboys were going to be ready to, to for this team. I think this was a setup for the Cowboys to get ready for this week. Since that, since the Cowboys played and lost to the Philadelphia Eagles only by three points, uh, that last that last time they played, week eight, I think the Cowboys have been very elite on offense. Scoring 600 plus yards in, in one game, constantly scoring 400, uh, uh, getting 400 plus yards. Never lost at home. This is a home game for the Cowboys. That Prescott has been playing at an MVP elite level. CD Lamb, of course, has been all pro uh, receiver. And Ferguson has been a solid tight end. And the Cowboys love solid tight ends. Uh, Dan, uh, De- Deron Bland. It's the best quarterback cornerback in the league. Not a cover cornerback. I can't say that because he got outdid last week. Yeah. By uh, uh, Metcalf, BK Metcalf, the Kalen Metcalf. So did we cover it? Um, but he's still an elite cornerback who can uh, get turnovers for for our defense. I think that's what's mm-hmm. going to happen. Uh, they're going to put pressure on Jalen and cause him to get sacks or. Throw interceptions. I got the Cowboys winning this game in another close game. No more than a couple of touchdowns. No more. No more than two. Two score. Not not two touchdowns, but two scores. Cowboys winning this game at home because they're at home. They're in Philadelphia. I was. I'll pick Philadelphia the Eagles to win this game, but because they're at home and the momentum that they have at home, I'm going with the Cowboys. Now I'm interested to see your answer. Last time. Game. Last time, here's why. Last time I picked the Eagles to win, aka are the Eagles, but they bring respect because it was a high pressure game, and Cowboys did not know how to win under high pressure games. Mm-hmm. As we've seen the last time, game winning drive, high pressure, mm-hmm. what happened? Penalty, sack, out of bounds. It could not perform under pressure. This game is less is a less pressure game than what the last game was. Yeah. That that Prescott is playing his best football ever. Jalen Hurts is still injured. He still have that he still have yeah. that knee problem. They need mm-hmm. to I honestly feel Philly needs to focus on getting his knee right Healthy. for the playoffs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They came off of their worst loss of the season. They got completely dominated. So confidence level down. So now Cowboys like, oh shit. I mean, the Niners whooped the ass too. So hey, are we both here? That's what the Niners whoop the Cowboys. It is what it is. Yeah, both of them right. got got whooped. So neither one of them got over anything. There's no missing in that Prescott against NFC East Conference teams. Dominant, balling. Yeah, we'll beat your ass in there with the Cowboys. I'm calling. It, I'm calling it a two score game, easily. I think the Cowboys is going to dominate. Nonetheless, oh, okay. they are definitely going, going, going to win. And I think Brandon Cooks is going to 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 go off. They're gonna be so focused on CD Lamb, they're gonna forget that. Mm. Oh shoot. Dag and Brandon Cooks is starting to connect more and more now too. Yeah, yeah, I like right, that. right. Well, and one thing the about the Eagles defense, weeks. yeah. One thing about the Eagles defense yeah. is their linebacker linebacker core is weak up the middle, and Wait. their safeties are weak uh, covering uh, helping uh, over the top. So that'll be another. That's that's where right. that's where that's where Brandon Cooks is. That's where Ceedee Lamb runs. That's and, over the top or through the middle. And you got the tight end Ferguson. Uh, um, I don't, I, they did sign uh, uh, Shaq. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, but is he playing? But he's not playing uh, this he week. Might if he might be do playing. Play. It, it, it's it's not a guarantee, but he might be playing. Yeah, uh, but I ain't scared of Shaq. I, I'm not yeah. scared of Shaq. Yeah, he's not. He if don't he worry play, me at all. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's not your work out. Yeah. I would have loved to have him as a as a addition, yeah. but yeah. it's his loss. 
Uh, he's not a difference <laughs> maker. He's not a difference maker. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. I'm going to Cowboys on on this one. I'm also going Brandon Cooks for all my fancy players. I'm mm-hmm. starting him in fancy this week. I'm starting mm-hmm. Brandon Cooks in fancy this week. He's been on my bench. Uh, other than two, other than last, no, actually, I started him last week too. I'm going also a uh, Brandon Cooks. I think he's going to have a great dominant game because they're going to be so focused on CeeDee Lamb and Philadelphia sucks when it comes to defending the tight end. So yeah. your third player, boom, Brandon Cooks going to be open. That's going to fight him. That is that guy has confidence, dude. You see, you see what he did uh, last week? Yeah, man. When he flexed. Flex. The flex. When have you ever seen Dak Prescott flex? I've never, never seen him flex. Never seen him flex, bro. He feeling himself standing, right now. Feeling himself and standing on business. I he like it. I love it. So I'm loving, I'm loving the Dak Prescott I'm seeing. I'm yeah. going Cowboys. This is not an emotional pick. This is a logical pick. Yeah. Cow, Cow, Cowboys, a two score game. All right, I got the Cowboys too. Um, this right. has been another great week. Hey, if y'all want to join Damn our man. weekly pick'em or be uh, actually be a guest hop on, on our weekly pick'em, hop on in, give us a, a shout. You can find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, uh, you go to our website, and you can also call 419 540 8252. Leave a message for us, we'll call you back, or we'll listen to the message. We'll actually play your message on the show. So let's get it, let's get it. All right, uh. So we'll see y'all next time. Uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, Twitter at Win or Lose Show, and go to the website winnerloseshow dot com. And uh, we'll see you next week. Hey.